Hello and welcome to the Tech Explorers channel. In today's video, we want to talk about video introduction. This is one of the things that can help you rank high in the Upwork search result. When you have a video introduction placed on your profile, it helps clients connect directly with you. Because in that sense, they get to see you for who you are, they get to see your face, they get to see your aura, they get to feel rather your aura and see the possibility of communicating with you. They also get an idea of your accent, how you speak, okay? Because some of them are very peculiar, very, 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 very concerned about your intonation or your accent, whether your English has some accent issues, all right? So what you want to do is to add up a video introduction to your profile, okay? This, like I said, can help you rank high on Upwork search result. So how do you go about uploading a video introduction? The first thing you want to do is to shoot a video of yourself. And for a video introduction, as the name implies, you want to simply introduce yourself in a short video. It shouldn't be more than a minute, 30 seconds long. It's just a short video that talks about your expertise and how you could use it to help clients solve their problems. Okay, so your video introduction should be client-centered, not I-centered. It shouldn't be about you. It should be about your client. So once you have that video shot, you want to head over to your YouTube channel. If you have one, obviously, everybody that has a Gmail account automatically has a YouTube channel tied to their account. So you head over to your YouTube channel. Let me quickly open one of my YouTube channels. All right. So I click on YouTube. Once I come down to YouTube, I click on the icon where I find a, a name logo or my name logo. If, I, if, you have not, if you have not optimized your YouTube channel, then you may just find the letter that talks about your name. So if your name, for instance, my name is Marcel. If I had not changed the logo of my YouTube channel, I would just see letter M on this spot. So for you, it will be the letter of your name. So you click on that and then head over to your channel. Click on your channel. All right. You click on your channel and then you head over to manage videos. Okay. Manage videos. So all these are the different videos that I have shot that concerns Upwork and other things that are beneficial to freelancers, but we'll not be talking about that. Right now, as I'm airing this very video, one of my videos is Premier MM and it's showing life on my channel. And that is the most complete Upwork account creation. You could take your time to look for that eventually after this video. All right. So you want to go over to create a video. Once you click on create a video, it asks you to upload. So click on upload videos. All right. Once you click on upload videos, it gives you the option to upload a video. Now you click on select files, click on select files. It will open up your phone folder or your laptop folder. Locate where you placed that video. Let's assume this is the video, for instance. All right. You want to locate it where you placed the video and then click on open. Once you click on open, it automatically uploads that video to your channel. All right. So you want to give the video a, a brief introduction. For instance, uh, this is an introductory video or whatever it is I want to talk about. Even though this is not an introductory video, I'm just using this as an introduction. All right. So I can say this is an introductory video. All right. Introductory video. All right, or uh, whatever it is you want to talk about, just place it in the description section. The most important thing that you need is this link, this link right here. Okay, that is what you need. So copy this link. Mind you, you have to save this video if you must get it properly done. As you can see, the whole process is still going on. So you want to come down to this playlist. All right, and then you can choose whether to set it to a particular playlist, you can create a playlist for yourself, just like I did in my case. I created a playlist and named it Introductory Video. So I can come over here to create a new playlist and I call it Introductory Video or whatever it is I want to call it, all right? I can say, 
training introductory video. You mustn't give it the name I, I, I named it here. You could just give it any name of your choice that can help you remember it. And then set it to private, all right? Because it is just for you and those that you give your account, your access to, sorry, not private, set it to unlisted. Because if you set it to private, nobody will be able to view the video except those that you grant permission. So set it to unlisted, okay? Or if you choose to, you can set it to public. But usually I recommend unlisted, all right? Once you have done that, you want to, you want to click on create, okay? So that that video will be placed in that category, training introductory video, all right? And then you scroll all the way down and click on done meaning you have created that part. Scroll further down and choose, no, it is not made for kids because this is just a training video. There is no nudity, there is no profanity or anything that will be offensive to kids. So even though it is not for kids, you can you still go ahead and say it is not made for kids, all right? Once that is done, you can leave other things because you don't need too much work to be done on this video. Just go ahead and click on next. Mind you, we have copied the link to that video. In case you don't know how we did that, go back and click on this icon here, copy. You see, it says link has been copied to clipboard. So go over to next. All right. You can also want to go back again to change the thumbnail. All right. What I mean by thumbnail is what is the first image that whoever wants to view this video would see? Because if you if you check out YouTube videos, before you click on the videos, you would see images. It is those images that appeals to you to want to make you click on the video. So you can change that image if you want. In this case, this is not a good image for this video. So I can decide to change it if I have another designed cover for it. So if I have a design cover, I can just go ahead and upload the cover. Let's say, for instance, I click on upload thumbnail. I can go ahead and click on this. Say, let me upload this as the thumbnail. You see, it has changed to Upwork, all right? So once I've done that, I can click on Next. And Next again, because you don't, there's nothing much to be done here. So just go ahead and click on Next again, all right? Once I click on Next, it will automatically upload the video. So here, I can click on Unlisted, all right? And then click on Save. All right, unlisted and click on save. But because this is not any video that concerns what we are doing here or what I would want to be published on my channel. Okay, so I will just click on private. Mind you, yours should be unlisted or public, not private. All right, get that straight. Now I click on save. I just want to make sure I show you everything accordingly. So the video will automatically be uploaded. All right, so you can see it, it has been uploaded. But because I don't want anybody else to see it, that is why I chose private, okay? So even if you failed to copy the link to this video, you can always go back to this edit option here, click on edit and come back here and copy the link again, okay? And then go back to your Upwork space, all right? So this time around, I'll be going back to my Upwork space, but this time I'll use a student's account. One of my students' account that was created because I already have a video on my own account. All right, so let's use the student account to see how we can paste this link on that very platform. Join me as I head over to that section now. So here I am on a new, a brand new account which was created for one of my students in the master class that we are presently holding, all right? As of today, we are still within the week of our master class. So if you're interested, you can use the link in the description below to join our session, all right? So once you come to your profile, you head over to this place where you have video introduction. Click on it. Once you click on it, it will bring up this page. You see that you, you have a link to your YouTube video, you see? So here you paste the link that you copied from your YouTube, Control V, you pasted it. And then it asks you, what type of video is this? You click on this and choose, this is me talking about my skills and experience. 
or this is me showing visual samples of my work or this is something about something else altogether so in this case i would say this is me talking about my skills and experience all right so those are the three categories that you can shoot a video on and once i have that i'll click on save once i save it it will automatically show up on this profile but because this is not an introductory video i don't want to do that for this profile all right but like i said once you click on save it would show up on this section all right it will show up this way you see this is my video introductory section it will show up just like this on whatever account that you uploaded a video introduction remember i spoke about that cover that cover picture we uploaded that we changed to upwork picture so this is what will be seen here that upwork picture is what you'll be seeing here but in your case you want to make sure that it is your own picture that is showing here so that when a freelancer or a client rather stumbles on your profile the first image they see here is your own image so that when they click on this it begins to play according to the video that you have recorded all right you can see it introductory video then begins to play on your youtube okay but it will Hello. be showing it will be showing right on your upwork account okay so this is how clients can actually assess your video introduction and then if they find you appealing they can send you a message to collaborate with them all right so thank you very much for joining this session hope this video was helpful to you if it was kindly click on the thumbs up button so that other freelancers like yourself can also stumble on this video by liking the video you help others to see it and if you are not yet subscribed to this amazing channel i cannot describe how many videos or how many helpful videos you can find on this channel so if you want to always get a notification when we roll out videos that can be very helpful to you do well to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell click on the notification bell and choose the all option so that for every video that we drop here you will get notified and then you will not miss any video anymore thank you for joining and see you in another video